Hi everyone, in this video, you will learn how to configure subform actions in Zoho Creator. A subform refers to a form within a form. In a subform, a user has access to two actions, add new field and delete field. Based on your requirements, these actions can be restricted. Say, you don't want the user to delete the enter data or you don't want the add new action displayed for certain users. For such needs, Zoho Creator lets you configure subform actions where you can show or hide the add and delete entry actions in a subform. Let's try to understand these actions better with the help of a real time use case. First, let's configure actions to hide subform add and delete entries from the end user. This is a sample application for employee management. In this form, details of employees are filled in for later reference. As you can see, this form has subforms which are mandatory to perform subform actions. Unlike the regular hide or show field workflows, here you can only hide and show the add and delete entry actions seen in a subform. The education subform in this app has pre populated values asking for employees' marks during different levels of their education. We do not want any addition or deletion of rows in this subform from the user's end. So, let's configure and see how to do it. Go to the editor and select the workflow section. All the form workflows that you have already configured can be seen here. Click new workflow. When the screen appears, choose the form you need to configure the workflow. Let's choose add employee. Ensure that the form you chose has at least one subform to configure the subform actions. Choose created or edited as we need the workflow to be triggered at both events. The hide or show fields are field rules. So let's choose that. Give a name to the workflow and click Create Workflow. Now that the workflow is created, let's add actions to it. Select Always since we want the workflows to be triggered always. But if you want it to take place selectively, choose On Condition and do it accordingly. As you can see, we have a new action that has come up since we chose a form with subforms. Select Show or Hide Subform Actions. To hide the Add Field action, Choose Hide Subform Add Entries and select the subform you wish to trigger the workflow in. Here, all the subforms present in the form are listed. Choose Education and Save. Let's also configure to hide the subform delete entry along with this. For this, select Add New Action and repeat the same process. Let's once again keep it as always and choose Show or Hide Subform Actions. Now, let's select the Hide Subform Delete Entry. The subforms present in the form chosen are listed here. Let's choose Education as we want the workflow to be triggered in this and save. Now, access the application and see the results. As you can see, the two actions we saw earlier are not visible in the form now. Similarly, let's configure the Show Subform Add and Delete Entry actions. Both actions are displayed on the screen by default. However, Show Add as well as Show Delete actions can be used when you want the actions to appear only when specific criteria are met. For this, let's take the same case of an employee management application to see how it works. Here, the requirement is to show the Add fields for the subform experience only when the user chooses Yes to the question, Have you worked for other companies? To execute this requirement, let's go to the editor and select the workflow section. Choose the same add employee form and configure in the same workflow as the record and form events are the same for both. Let's add a new action. Choose always option if you want to trigger the workflow always. Here we want the add field action to appear only when the employee is experienced. So let's give a condition have you worked for other companies equals yes. Now choose show or hide subform actions and select Show Subform Add Entry. Select the subform in which you wish to trigger the workflow. Choose Experience and Save. You can rename the workflow if required. Go to the Workflow Properties and make the changes. Now, let's access the application to see what happens. When the form loads, the Add field is hidden in the subform. Now, when you choose Yes in the field, Have you worked for other companies? the Add field action appears. Similarly, you can give a condition and configure to show delete option as well. In this way, 
you can hide or show the add and delete entries in a subform to meet the requirements in your application. Hope you got a good understanding of subform actions. That's all for now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.